Steve, what's going on in that field? Well, have you heard of GM wheat before? No. Okay, let me tell you a story. There's a place called Rossenstead Research. It's the oldest agricultural research station in the world. For nearly 170 years now, it's been breeding plants to improve crops. Bringing together plants from the same species, as we've been doing for thousands of years. But the new director is a big cheese from a biotech company. And now they're trialling genetically modified crops. What you have just seen is the first open air trial of a new aphid resistant GM wheat. So what does that mean? Well the scientist gets wheat and adds these. That looks really weird, but aside from being weird, well maybe it's okay. Well there's been no proper safety research for GM wheat. GM food can have unintended results, plus releasing antibiotic resistant anything into the wild is a bad idea. Also, wheat is wind pollinated, so those genes could spread and contaminate other nearby wheat crops or wild grasses. So the GM genes get everywhere. So, has there been any proper public consultation about this around here? Nope. But, I keep hearing people in the press saying that GM crops will feed all the hungry people in the world. But it's access to the land and food distribution, not the amount of food grown that's the problem. Besides, most GM crops are currently for animal feed, so richer countries can eat more meat. And farmers in poorer countries have said they don't want their food and seed controlled by huge western companies anyway. That just sounds so unfair. The biotech industry has a lot of influence with government and is looking to get GM into Europe once and for all. I don't like this. I have an allotment near here and I don't want GM in the food I grow. When it's out there I guess there's no turning back. Hey, what's going on? The cow has just been telling me all about the GM wheat trial here. Hmm, very worrying for us farmers locally. You can't ever stop seed spreading, and that makes me worry about my export markets, as no one wants this stuff. My cousin is a farmer in Canada, where they've had huge problems with GM contamination. He's lost a lot of money in exports. Oh, that's awful. Well, in the US, farmers' yields haven't gone up with GM, and they're using more chemicals than ever, which is not what they were promised. A test found GM insecticides in the blood and umbilical cords of pregnant women. It's going to affect my business too. No one is going to want to eat this. And wheat's in everything! I can't stand here talking about this. We have to tell the rest of the town. I'm coming too. We need to do something. Let's go! Count me in! Me too! Yeah! yeah!